navigating the home screen on the SunSync app. Sometimes using an app can feel unfamiliar and overwhelming. This video is to help you to understand and navigate your SunSync app, and most of all, to show you that the app is user-friendly and easy to understand. Once you have successfully downloaded your SunSync app, created an account and logged in, your plant will be visible. This field represents the solar array power generated at any moment in time. This field represents the installed solar array capacity. Your Illumo installation team would have to set this up for you. Don't worry if it's not 100% correct. It can be updated in the Edit Plant section. These fields indicate the accumulated solar power generated, displayed as daily, monthly, yearly, and in total from the plant's inception. The Power Flow section indicates, as the name suggests, how the power is flowing at your plant. The power is indicated below each icon. The arrows show the direction of the power flow. Some of the icons can have power flowing to or from, which is the case with battery and grid. When the battery is charging, the arrow will point towards it. When the battery is discharging, the arrow will point towards the inverter icon. The battery state of charge is displayed next to the icon here. If the inverter has surplus power available after supplying loads and the zero export setting is unticked, the arrow will point towards the utility icon. The generation purpose section indicates the accumulated solar power generated at a certain point in time for the day and how it was used. The consumption value is what amount of solar power was applied to AC loads. The grid tide value is the surplus power which was exported to the utility. The charging value was the solar power used to charge the battery. The ratio of each to the accumulated solar power generated is displayed as a percentage. The generation sections map out the solar power, load power, battery state of charge, grid power used, grid power exported, battery power charged and battery power discharged during the course of the day. This data can be viewed per day, per month, per year or in total. Let's use this chart as an example. We can see that before the sun rose, the battery state of charge was approximately 35%. By sunset, the battery was charged to a 92% state of charge. This purple section indicates the power charged to the battery. This purple section indicates the battery power discharged to the loads. Notice how the battery state of charge gradually moves down, indicated by the green line. There are additional tabs to display the power elements as a bar graph for either monthly, yearly or in total views. The date is indicated at the bottom and can be toggled. This section indicates the daily weather forecast. You can input the cost price of the plant as well as your current electricity rate on the account settings. The application will then calculate the value of your solar power used as a proportion of your investment. The Energy Conservation section displays interesting statistical information. The solar power generated is equated to the savings made, including CO2 gas, sulfur dioxide pollutants, coal burnt and trees planted. The advanced settings will be covered in another video. For now, we hope we have demystified the SunSync app. Have fun seeing what it can do for you!